show you today how I mix the thermal red in with this flesh colors. I'm showing you here a doll that I had uh, pre-modeled and put some skin flesh on it, just the normal heat set Genesis paints. Um, there is, uh, you can use Flesh 08 or uh, another flesh of your liking. The Flesh 08 I have used um, very successfully on newborns. It has a little more pinkier skin, but in this project I used a little darker skin with the Flesh 07. So uh, I'm going to show you here how we mix it. So the solvent that I use with the uh, Flesh 07 is the Museum brand. I find it uh, doesn't leave a, as much of a chalky appearance with the uh, flesh tones. And I just uh, conveniently put it into a, a bottle there. You'll also have in on hand, I use fan brush here for mixing. I find that it doesn't absorb as much of the paint and it does a really good mixing job you'll see later on. Also have a, just a normal flat brush and some dense uh, sponges that I will be using. Um, um, a popsicle stick or a wooden stick of some sort just for taking the paint out. And then I have some uh, cotton tipped uh, uh, swabs there and I'll probably put a uh, selection there at hand in case I need to uh, use them for cleaning up some spots. And of course I have the Thermal Red. Uh, it's right there in the uh, jar and I'm going to show you that once you open it. You, it's important that you mix your paints. It will be kind of uh, solid jelly looking. Uh, so when you stir it here you'll find that it uh, will uh, become very soft and once it's in that soft form it's a lot easier to mix into your paints so you don't get uh, globs of uh, pigment coming through. You want all those uh, pigments to mix together so it's all one um, color. So here we have, we're going to be putting it down into the jar. I, the measurement is just approximate. I, I will vary. It all depends on what the color looks like uh, as you get mixing it into your flesh. You'll know what color you, you like, whether you want a little reddier tone or a little less. That's up to you. So these measurements, of course, are just approximate. And then I'm going to take my Flesh 07 and I'm going to put uh, some of it into the bowl as well. And uh, of course, uh, once I open my uh, Flesh 07, I will give it a stir as well. I don't want uh, big chunky pieces going in. I want it nice and smooth so it mixes well. And also, it's important to mix your uh, containers because you'll find that the uh, liquid um, uh, oils come to the top of the jar. And if you use all those liquid oils up all at once without stirring it into the rest of the paint, you'll find when you get uh, closer to the end of the jar, your paint will be starting to dry out because it doesn't have that oil left uh, that you used at the very top of it. <laughs> And uh, so that's why it's important each time that you mix that oil into the rest of the paints. So now I'm going to mix in some solvent. Uh, there's about a, maybe about a tablespoon and a half, maybe two tablespoons in there. Again, I just want to mix it to a nice uh, consistency. I want to make sure it's transparent. So uh, as you see, I'll just stir it up against the side of the bowl there to make sure that you can see the transparency of the paint. And of course, you see how the fan brush, it will mix the paint in smack. It's, it's a nice um, a bristle that's in there that helps with the mixing and gets rid of any little chunks that I may have missed when I stirred them into the jar. And uh, so it, it is a good mixer and it doesn't hold all the paint, so you don't waste a lot of paint. You can basically get most of the paint off by dabbing it off of the uh, side there. So now I will take my flat brush and uh, I can just comparing the uh, skin tones to my own there and I'm going to apply it on. Now the room temperature I'm working in right now is about uh, 69, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, about 21 Celsius, maybe a little less than 21 Celsius. But uh, it's important to know because at this point in time, my paint isn't looking as uh, red as uh, what it could be. If the uh, room goes a little bit cooler down to about a 68, 67, uh, the red will become more dominant. Um, but uh, I work at a room temperature that's usually normal around wherever you go so you can see uh, what the results are. And normally I usually do this, you'll find that I'm going to show you how to do it twice um, because I want to 
keep the uh, layers nice and thin. I don't want any blotchiness happening. Uh, so it's the same as when you do the rest of your painting with the Genesis paints. You always want to keep your uh, layers thin. So in order to get a good effect that we're going to be hoping for with this red um, uh, thermal paint, we're going to be doing uh, two, uh, possibly even three layers. We'll have to find out here. And of course I'm cleaning any puddles out with my Q-tips and making sure they're blended in. I've just got a little blender brush there. And uh, of course uh, checking all my creases to make sure that there's no puddles in there as usual. So once I'm all done blending, I'll set it out to uh, air dry first. Then I will put it into my oven and heat set it as usual, uh, 265, 268, um, and usually for just about eight minutes. It's not, it shouldn't be any different than uh, your other heat setting uh, procedure. So once that's done, we'll uh, come back and uh, we'll show you the end results. So I'm back from heat setting and I have actually applied a second coat after my first heat set. And as you can see my paint change, uh, my paint has changed color here and basically that's because the second coat I felt that I needed a little bit more pinker. So I did add a little bit more thermal red to that mix and uh, you can see that it is a, a, a touch thick, uh, a little bit pinker than the last uh, session when we were in there. And I'll just hold the uh, mixture up against the Flesh 07 and you can see that it is uh, looking a lot uh, pinker there for reference. So I've uh, enclosed a, a picture here showing you the difference of the two arms when we first started. You'll see that it's a little bit on a uh, little bit yellowy side and then when we added the warmth to the uh, the flesh with the red thermal red in it we've got a nice uh, flesh uh, uh, tone. So I'm going to show you the reaction this paint can uh, give you. Uh, as you know, it reacts to warmth. So I'm going to take my warm hand and put it onto this lake that has already had the, uh, the red uh, flesh put on. And as you can see, when I take my warm hand off, you will have a modeling effect. Now that just goes away after the, uh, the leg gets back to room temp, which I think is kind of cool. So I'll just show you a couple of pictures here of uh, some of the model effect by just putting a warm uh, hand or finger onto an area and the red will disappear. That's in the paint and uh, the color you will see was the actual flesh 08 color that would have been mixed in there and uh, you get that uh, wonderful effect.